know. Sounds good. If you want an enchilada, if you do, just call me. Anything with that zip code? What's his phone number? All right, so headed to the little workout center right now. Wouldn't really, I'm, we'll call it a gym, but it's really an apartment gym, so that's why it's pretty limited. But I'm going there. They got a Smith machine at least, which is close. But it's not bad, you know. Um, got the pupinos in the back, you know. And uh, here's what it looks like: capstone, a villajo. Um, um, um. Today I'm doing deadlifts. Normally, for deadlifts, huh. Mind your own business. Thank you. Um, some guy in his car. Looking at me. Deadlifts, normally I would do like fucking warm up sets, work my way up, do like <clears throat> sets of five, and then get up to my uh, max and do like maybe a set of three, maybe one rep max sometimes. But today I'm gonna do a lot higher volume. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a lot of reps with a little bit lower weight just so that I can really work the form and the mobilization of the movement, which is what I have been doing and concentrating on for the past month and a half or so now, but it's not like you can really obtain perfect mobility in a month and a half. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse you, car. Basically, just still working on a little bit of good mobility and uh, form. And uh, so today's not going to be a super heavy power day. But it's going to be a lot of reps. And uh, I might go up to even 225, which is still not that heavy. But um, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'll see you soon. <clears throat> All right, there's no one in here. So I can film real quick. But I'm in the pisser. And as you can see, look at this window right there. That is a window right above the shitter. And it has been confirmed they have the same window in the fucking ladies room. And this window outside is only like seven feet tall. Like I can peek in this bitch if I just go on my tippy toes. So it's like, what the fuck were they thinking there? And it's not like tinted, it's not, a double-sided window where you can't see in through the outside. You can see in through the outside. I'll show you. Look, I'm six foot three, okay? I, it's, my eyeballs are right fucking here. What the fuck? How does that make sense? The bitches could be getting peeped on. I don't give a fuck. You can see me taking a piss or taking a poo. I don't give a fuck. But women probably don't like that shit. Women don't like that. Anyways, time to deadlift. Let me wash my hands real quick. Um, it's so hard to film in this fucking gym. A, because I have a phone. I don't have a tripod. It's so hard to set it up on anything, but that's no excuses. I will set it up. Check out this super cool footage of me washing my hands. I actually made a mess.
Because obviously, like I said, I was working on mobility and form. Because um, even when I get up to like 185, 225, I really start hinging from the wrong place on my back. I start breaking my back real bad. Um, but anyways, today what I'm focusing on is feeling the tension in the outer sweep of my hamstrings and my glutes and my calves. And what I mean by that is when your back is nice and straight and your hamstrings are activated and uh, they have tension on them, you should feel tension from the outer sweep to the inner sweep. So, because when you when you round your butt in the the deadlift or at the bottom of the squat position, it brings the tension to the the inner part of your leg. And if trust me, just round your butt in either of those movements, and you'll feel the tension on the inner part of your hamstring. If you have your hips popped out and your butt extended like it should be, you should feel the tension on the very outside of your legs and your calves all the way down. So mainly I'm focusing on trying to make sure that every rep I feel that perfectly. And I feel like a lot of tension on my hamstrings and my calves, but mainly on the outer sweep. Cause I, for a while when I was when I was working up with deadlifts, I would pay attention to that, but not as much as I should have. And the lift would always fall on the inner the inner sweep, and that's what was building, which is wrong because that's what builds the rounding. Basically, with the uh, with the sumos, you can see it's easier for me. Even though the, the plate is about two inches higher off the ground than it normally would be, just because of the way that machine's set up, I have to stand on 245 plates for it to be a normal uh, bar position. Um, the sumos, it's easier for me to straighten my legs, but that's because when you have your legs farther apart, it doesn't force your butt to be as popped out. You can have a more rounded butt and still have a flatter back overall. That's why when you have a, when you're doing conventional, your legs are closer together, it's harder to put tension on the outer sweep of your hams and your glutes because you have to have a, your both of your hips have to be completely popped together, if that makes sense. And when you're looking at the clip, if you're looking at the clip before um, I even started my, my set of 135, I was popping my legs in and out. And I'm doing that pretty much on all the deadlifts. I pop my legs one at a time in and out. And that's because I can't pop both of them at the same time with the same amount of hip extension as I can with one leg at a time, if that makes sense. So... I'm gonna keep doing that until eventually both legs become so comfortable popping out that they meet each other and then they both pop out. Because right now, I can't pop them both out. I can't pop both my hips out at the bottom. My hamstrings will not do it. So that's really what I'm working for is trying to get, get it so that at the bottom of every rep, I can completely straighten my legs with a nice straight back and fill my stomach with air to get the proper positioning. I know this is kind of confusing, but I'm going to make a different video with specific diagrams that I'll draw, and it'll just make it so much easier to understand. Anyways, uh, I'll let you get back to uh, whatever. Peace. Done with the deadlifts. Now I got to do, obviously I'm going to do more back and biceps, but I got to do some calves. And what I want to say about calves is, man, you really got to work, okay, mostly all the muscles in your body, you've got to work from full point of tension to get the maximum benefits. So if you were working your biceps, <clears throat> you want to work it from your bicep in total extension and then work it from here to here, am I right? Instead of making this your bottom position, 
this wouldn't be fully extended. It's the same thing with the deadlift and your hamstrings and your glutes and the squat. It's the same thing with all the muscles in your body. So my point is calves are fucking tough to get in full extension because you can't just pull your toe up. You can't just pull your toe up and have your calf be in full extension because your hamstring being tight will also make your calf tighter. So in order to get your calf the tightest, you need to be able to really extend your hamstring and then extend your calf. So that's why I feel like the standing calf raise machine where it has, it goes on your shoulders, you can really get that extension because you have a platform to step on with your toes so you can drop your heels and you can really lean forward to stick your butt out while you're doing it. Because when I do that machine, I fucking feel the tension in my calves like none other. Or the other machine where you're sitting down and it's like a plate or it's a bar right here and you're lifting it up like this, if you know what I'm saying. Because, really, I don't know how, I guess because you can get the angle of your, sh your shins so far forward you can really get a, a deep toe stretch. Because you can really feel it in that one too. But for the most part, just getting on the Smith machine here and holding the bar and going up and down like this. It does all right, but it, it feels the same to me as if I was doing bicep curls like this. It's like working the middle of the muscle and it doesn't feel as good. It doesn't feel like I'm stretching shit. Even when I lay down two 45 pound plates to get my heels to drop, it's like, I still, I don't know, it's hard. But I'm gonna do it anyways, because I'm not gonna not work calves because of that reason. I just wanted to explain that. My thoughts on that. There is a mall damn near attached to the hotel. If this ain't the most wicked dick mall at all. Cat Williams. Stan Freeberg with us. Not exactly what you would call a fan of uh, rock and roll or R&B, uh, but not above... I like listening to the Comedy Channel lately. <clears throat> Fucking sometimes it's better than music. Oh, I'm eating so much right now. I just had uh, just five scoops of rice and four scoops of beans from Chipotle, which is about 1,700 calories. And it's, I'm getting a full. That didn't make sense. I am full. And I'm gonna go finish my workout because I ran out of time earlier because I had to run home. So I'm gonna go back in and do back and biceps and probably some more deadlifts. <sighs> well, of course my phone is on 1% battery so it's gonna die any second. So you're probably only going to see one set of pull-ups, but I'm doing pull-ups, and then I'm doing lat pull-down, and then I'm going to do biceps.